know it's been a really, really long time since I've made a, a video, but I swear to you guys, I've been putting in work. It's just uh, super slow going, and I don't really have a lot of time to record and you know do everything I want to do. All right, now that we got the apologies and explanations out the way and whatnot, let me just kind of elaborate on what's going on with the car. As you guys remember, I did take it to a shop to see if they could get that uh, broken valve cover bolt out for me. <sighs> they got it out, but they also destroyed my cylinder head. And I'm going to throw up a picture or a video real quick of what they did so you guys can see what happened. But basically, I have to get a new cylinder head now, so I'm going to do that probably next week. And that's a job that I actually don't think I can do on my own, so I am going to take it to probably a Subaru dealership and have them uh, go ahead and change that out for me. And then as far as my rear axles, I still got to put those in. And to do that, I didn't realize that I'd have to start cutting absolutely everything off down there. To get to my rear axles, I got to go ahead and take off these lateral arms. But the problem with that is the bolt is super seized in the bushings over here, so it has to get cut out, all four of them. And uh, that's proven to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. So as you guys saw, I did end up torching out one of the four lateral arms, but I still got three more down there that I got to get torched out. And I got replacement bolts and replacement arms everywhere. I actually have some uh, True Heart lateral arms and trailing arms. The trailing arms I put in already, that was easy. <laughs> But when it came to these lateral arms, it was really, really difficult. As you can see, there's no bushing in here. We had to burn it out. And uh, on this side, before I tried to burn it out, I tried to use just a lot of leverage, and it snapped the head of the bolt off. So we got some work to do. The back of my car has been looking like a straight mess for a solid month and some change. I just have a lot of miscellaneous stuff back here. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really do miss driving my car. I've been trying to work on it as much as I can, but like I said, I'm working a lot more than I was prior, so I don't really have a lot of time to do everything that I need or want to do. I haven't even had the chance to touch my motor yet as far as, you know, mods and whatnot. The first thing I have to do is get an access port, and I haven't really had the chance to do that because I've had to do a ton of keep-up work and maintenance and everything just to keep the car from dying, you know what I mean? <laughs> But it is a Subaru. We do live in New England. I should have expected all of these things to happen. Like TJ Hunt always says, just keep moving forward, right? It's running okay right now. Uh, you guys can't really see down there. Maybe you can. That's the bolt that I had messed up. The guy that I brought it to threw some silicone on it so it wouldn't leak out as much. Um, and also, he cross-threaded one of the bolts back there. So I have gas concealer on there as well. It's not really leaking too, too bad. Sometimes it'll flare up and residual oil that's on the headers will start to smoke, but I don't think it's actively really leaking too, too much. Yeah, no smoke or anything. So I think we're good for the moment, but I still need to get a new cylinder head as you guys saw. Also got myself some new tires cause I, you know, I needed those. Just some Lionhearts, 225, 45s all around. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys follow me on, you know, Instagram or have me on Snapchat or anything, you basically knew all this information, but I wanted to just let everyone who doesn't follow me on socials know what's going on. Um, the car is still here. It's still running. I still own it. I didn't sell it. I didn't blow it up or anything. We're just working on it slowly. That's it. Whew. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I know it was a short video. I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know what's happening. And again, if you want to follow me on Instagram or add me on Snapchat or I have Twitter as well, you guys can go ahead and follow those socials and you'll stay up to date with most of the things that are going on with the car. Because I know that um, I won't be able to make YouTube videos as much as I want to just because of work schedule and the car itself, but they're still going to come out. Just hang in, hang in there for me guys. But peace out and I'll see y'all in the next video.